Okay, today we are testing one of our 427 twin turbo small block Chevys with all the bells and whistles. This is going in Steve Strode from Pure Visions 71 SEMA car. Ron Lalo is the owner. And I'm gonna go into some details. So, as you can see, we've got our mirror image turbos with billet compressor wheels. We went ahead and brushed the compressor housing. We brushed the exhaust housing and center section. It's got a set of our billet turbo transitions, so you can see right here. This is all cut from a billet. You don't have to worry about welds breaking for the gate attachment. Really nice CNC piece. How much do you want us to turn into this thing before we call it quits? It's all there. 808 is that pull and it was like right off the gate, you know. So <laughs> That's weird. What do you want? Oh, I, I don't want you to blow it up. That's what I Just told you. Just tell me a number you want to see, and we'll make it make that number. Well, the no I'll tell you. I'm going to answer that with a question or a statement. Nothing. The number. Up. The number everybody's been or whatever that I thought I heard a long time ago that I've been rattling off was 12. So put uh, two. But I don't know if that's put uh, two and three quarter turns in it. <laughs> Oh, well, the tune's gonna be there up till he can do what it, the computer the computers automatically adjust it. So if you want a thousand, you want eleven, twelve, thirteen, turn up the boost. Yeah. Just turn it up and make sure there's gas. And how do you turn up the boost? That little knob because you don't want that in the car you said. So how would you turn up the boost? You have to change the wastegate springs. Or we'll do whatever you want it to do. <laughs> you know, this, this is nine pounds of boost, it'll make thirty-eight pounds of boost. Oh. Right here. This is all cut from a billet. You don't have to worry about welds breaking for the gate attachment. Really nice CNC piece. Backed up with some billet four to one collectors. No welds in that collector. Three inch B band. Into a set of our Nelson stainless headers. You can see the gate dumps right into the exhaust pipe there. This is plumb just like it is in the car, so we're running it just like it is in the car. Some of our Nelson valve covers cut from solid stock. Our two fuel system 16 injector uh, built-in fuel regulator, you name it. Alien intake small block manifold. Look at that. Look at all the contour and 3D work into that baby. Seven foot pounds of torque, 1321 horsepower. Three sides. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna type this in real quick. We've got Steve Strope here. Text, oh. <laughs> text. oh, come on, not with my Gorbachev. Spot. Whatever, dude. <laughs> so he's texting his customer right now. Yeah. I've actually seen Steve smile about horsepower. This is a good thing, dude. His head Indeed, hurts. Indeed, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't wait to sing the praises at SEMA. There we go. And now I'm putting my glasses back on to look old. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> it's got our throttle body snout transition going into a dual blow off valve. Goes into an air to water intercooler. And we hand form that lid. It's all hand pounded. Billet specialties drive unit, air conditioned power steering 
high amp alternator all on a common serpentine belt that's been hard anodized. You can see the stainless line work, all hard stainless line work that's been done on this motor. Some of the beautiful tile products that we use, these are the MVR wastegates and blow-off valves. Of course, our Electromotive Tech 3. Some of the turbo drains going into the pan itself. It's just a really nice, clean piece. Okay, this is uh... This is the famous Steve Strope, and this motor is going in his latest SEMA car. Yeah, yeah. And he is after the GM award voraciously. Yeah, well, we, well, we can't go cursing. <laughs> I'm gonna knock on this piece of wood that might fall at any moment. <laughs> we, uh, we just did uh, a bunch of quick pulls. I'm really surprised at how quick the pulls were. It's just zip, and done, and zip, done, and <laughs> Not a, not a lot of fanfare, it was pretty amazing. And I think uh, the most amazing thing is uh, Tom just sat in the chair and said, how much horsepower do you want to make? <laughs> they just turn the boost knob and it just keeps making more. So uh, this on pump gas with what Tom refers to as a teeny weeny little intercooler uh, at like, what was it, 6600? Around 6300. Uh, 61. 6100 made 1320 something, 27, 1321, and uh, over a thousand foot-pounds of torque, um, which is flat amazing. The coolest thing about this motor, which I've said on other interviews that I, I am amazed at, is it's not the horsepower figure, it's that the genius that's inside this intake of the 16 injectors allowing you to drive around on basically a straightforward small block with the first eight injectors, and then uh, once the boost kicks in, the, the other fuel pump supplying fuel to the other eight injectors, letting it un unleash its fury. <laughs> that just sounds corny. But you can actually drive it around and use it. You, it's not a twitchy race car that you have to be scared of. You have to be respectful of the monster that you have. But if you're driving around like a, like a respectable person, this, this won't be problematic. It'll run and drive around. And that's really the, the liberating, amazing thing to me is that um, with this setup that Tom's come, come up with, I don't know if an editor has said it yet or not, but that's cake and eat it too. I mean, you can drive it like a normal car, but yet have unbelievable horsepower that we couldn't have even dreamed of back when I was you know, reading Hot Rod Magazine. It's just outer-worldly. So that's the amazing thing to me, and I, I just witnessed it. I just saw it make those numbers on the dyno, and we're going to go put it in the car that he's going to go drive around on. Um, so that, that's really cool. So I highly recommend if you're considering doing something uh, nuts like this, this is the, pay, uh, the place on the planet to come do it. Well, that's got to be the best f***ing promo I think I've ever had. <laughs> Holy <laughs> This guy should be a spokesman for yeah, Nelson Tracy. Ah, uh, wait, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, it, it's true. It, it, that isn't a bunch of smoke. I mean, that, that, that's the coolest thing to me, not the horsepower that it made, is that you can make this a reliable motor that you can drive around on and then have all of that in your back pocket. That's just, it, it's incredible. Tom's knowledge and the technology mix is just, it's unbelievable. Thanks, Steve.